Hello, this is a basic tutorial on how to do green screening or color keying in Blender Blender 2.45 I'm using. I'll be using two source files this image one of those <laughs> it's a long time when I'm recording this video okay this image and this video Now I didn't have time to record an actual person or anything, so I just did this in Blender. Rendered this in Blender real quick, and the green background is what you would use if you were actually recording a real live video of, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, someone, a person, then you would use a green background, like a green. They're called green screens, and they cost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> I just used canvas, green canvas, and I got the stuff. But we'll open Blender here. And we'll start by choosing decomposite. Uh, we want to make the size the output the same size as our input video, which would be 640 by 480. Want 30 frames per second. And choose the FF mode for video, you know, AVI, and make it make it blur. And I'm not worrying about audio right now because my video doesn't have audio. Okay, first we'll go to the node editor. Click this button, and then click these nodes. Delete those. I don't need them. Okay, add input image. Move it up here and add input image. Okay. And here we'll load our video. Uh, load the video. Oh, our video is only 105 frames long. I want to make sure we change it to 105. Okay, and then the other one will load our image. This is it. this is the uh, the background the backdrop image. Okay. Now we we, we want to make the green here in this video transparent. So we're gonna have uh, add. Let's see. Add maske. I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> Finicky. We don't want it there. So I dragged a little box around that line. Connect the image by clicking and dragging the image. Let's add an output viewer. This will help us preview what we've done. Click here. Put the key color. Click cancel. And then click the color with the little bit count. And you can see, ah, it's kind of rough, but we can make it finer. Um, add, let's add for this one, we want it, it's not the right size, so it's not 640 by 480. So we want to add an ink and if I can find it, converter for, oh, it's right here. Absolute 640. Add, we'll add a color and no, it's not color. Oh, yes, color alpha over, click alpha over. And then drag this image to here and connect that to this to the Now you can see what it looks like. Not too terribly well. Let's see what click this button. I think that just helps smooth it out a little bit. Uh, um, so if we want it to look better, you you can mess with some of these things. I don't know exactly what all these options do, but let's let's add a color. No, mask 
go and get it here. Uh, where are my bubbles? if I have enough but anyway <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing <laughs> okay can I get go here no that looks pretty good there there we go and we want to add it add output composite Move that and we go from here to here. And now we can render. Oh, this is an incredibly long. Okay. And it looks like that. And the reason there's black bars, for some reason, is went back to 720. We want it 640. Move this. To do composite render. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now, if you click anim for animation, it'll render the whole thing. And we do that really quickly. Let's see our output. I'll just click out put. Click output picture. And we click render. And it will begin to render. And I believe that's it. Thank you very much.